Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the SpongeBob countdown of the top 25 worst episodes. This is part three. Number 14 is Good Neighbors from season four. The episode starts off with SpongeBob's obnoxious alarm waking up Squidward. Squidward tells SpongeBob not to bother him on, on Sunday. Squidward prepares to have a relaxing Sunday and calls to order foot massage. SpongeBob and Patrick annoy Squidward. They create the Good Neighbors Club and tell Squidward he's the president. Squidward orders them to paint all the trees polka dot to make them leave. They are next to Squidward's window and shoot red paint at Squidward in his face. It hits his eyes and a couple thinks Squidward is ill. A guy comes to Squidward's house to give the foot massage. Squidward arrives home and sees the two imbeciles receive a foot massage. Outraged, Squidward demands for one, but the man stay, says time's up. More angry than ever, Squidward yells at the two imbeciles to get off his house. He also states that they, they're the worst neighbors ever and they're horrible. Squidward finds a paper for free installation of an alarm system to keep intruders out. Once it is installed, SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the cake to apologize, and Squidward cries, Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Because the alarm system says no threat detected, Squidward pounds his fist and it says threat detected. It malfunctions by shooting Squidward and becomes a robot. It kicks out Squidward and Destroys the town. Squidward rests on a rock for re relaxation. Spongebob presses the off button. The house lands on Squidward. Pretending to be calm, he orders them to get out of his house. Angry citizens and the police arrive and tell him that he has community service every Sunday for the rest of his life to pay for the damage. Like Spongebob and Patrick. It was their fault that Squidward ha had an unenjoyable Sunday. Number 13 is Sponge Cano from Season 7. Squidward is angry and annoyed. Also complains. A random volcano erupts from nowhere. Everyone frantically panics and a dim-witted dolphin comes from nowhere. He says that they must sacrifice the most miserable person. The citizens throw Squidward into the volcano. Squidward holds on for his life and begs Spongebob to help him. Squ Spongebob tells Squidward that he doesn't need his help. Squidward says that he likes Spongebob and gets rescued. Squidward's house falls into the volcano. The dolphin reveals that the sacrifice was to sacrifice the most miserable person's house. Boy that dolphin is idiotic. This episode was completely random. First of all, there was no volcano to begin with. Second, sacrifices do nothing. Number 12 is Trench Billies from Season 7. SpongeBob and Patrick fall into a trench where Trench Billies live. This episode was almost repulsive. The Trench Billies were deep sea fish and had southern accents. SpongeBob and Patrick are brought to the mother, also known as Maw. She's the most hideous character I've ever seen in Spongebob. Spongebob and Patrick have to play fiddle, sing, and fight. They succeed at everything and become honorary trench billies given teeth. Spongebob says, Well, it was nice knowing you all. But is not allowed to leave and must take care of Ma the rest of his life. They run for their lives as they distract the trench billies. They are chased to the Krusty Krab. Before Spongebob gets harmed, they order Krabby Patties. As the mall eats many Krabby Patties, Mr. Krab stares at her. He is caught and has to be hitched. So Mr. Krabs ends up in the car with Maul and is about to be kissed torturously. This episode was hideous and random. Also, how did Spongebob return from above the trenches? That was gross and disgusting. Number 11 is the Splinter from Season 6. Spongebob spatula is stuck on the ceiling and Spongebob stacks boxes to reach the ceiling. He retrieves the spatula 
but falls and is saved from his spatula from falling on lethal swords. Just when he thinks he's safe, he slips and gets a splinter in slow motion. That moment made me shake. He tries to pull it out, but can't. Squidward finds out and threatens to tell Mr. Krabs. Patrick comes, but then makes the situation worse. The idiotic, unsanitary character puts Spongebob's foot in his mouth, not to mention that he hammers the splinter and puts garbage on it. Mr. Krabs demands to see it. He pulls out the splinter and it heals. Squidward makes tries to harm himself by slamming his head on the cash register. Mr. Krabs won't let him go home because his break ended five minutes ago. Well, part four is coming soon. Good night.